Hi, welcome back to the channel. Have you been looking for effective workouts using short bands, mini bands? Well, look no further. I've got an under 30 minute strength training or a metabolic conditioning workout that you would love. The workout in this video is a metabolic conditioning workout. We'll be doing 10 exercises in two groups, group A and group B. We'll do each exercise for 45 seconds with a 15 second break. You do all of group A exercises. Take a quick break just to catch your breath and repeat that two times over. So it'll be a total of three rounds of five exercises, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Once you finish that, take a 90 second break and go to group B and follow exactly the same thing. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds break and do that for three rounds. Once you're done with that, that's about a 30 minute workout. That would be extremely challenging. And all of it is using these bands. Resistance levels of the bands that I use is all listed here. Depending on the need of the exercise and your capability, you can either use a single band or vary the resistance by stacking multiple bands. Before we get started, a couple of things. Number one, make sure you've got your medical test done and your doctor's given you a green signal to go ahead. Number two, make sure you have your own ways of measuring your progress. That could be your weighing scale with an electronic weighing scale with fat percentage measurement, etc. It could be photographs of yourself, but make sure you're tracking metrics. With all the hard work that you're putting in, you want to see progress, okay? So with that, let's get on with the workouts. As this is a follow along video, all you need to do is play it on your favorite device and just follow along. The first exercise in group A is a squat bicep curl. Loop a band around your thighs just above your knee and anchor two, maybe three bands under your feet. Perform a squat similar to a, a goblet squat going all the way down. Before coming up, perform a bicep curl and come back up. When you're at the top position, make sure you're squeezing your glutes and thrusting your hip forward so you've got that complete engagement. Make sure your weight is on your heels and not your toes and you've got your core completely braced. You should be able to do 15 reps, no more. Any more and your resistance is too light or you're going too fast. Leave the bands as they are in the first exercise as you need exactly the same setup for the second one. Next exercise, bent over rows. Bend forward, keeping your knees slightly bent. Have your back completely flat. Grab hold of the resistance bands that are anchored underneath your feet and pull them towards your core. As you're pulling, imagine a ball in the center of your back that you're squeezing. The whole idea is to activate your back muscle by squeezing the back muscle while you're pulling. Make sure you're keeping a tight core all through this movement. Pace of about three seconds per rep, you should be able to crank in about 15 reps. Again, if you're doing more than that, slow down and also increase the resistance of the bands. Ready to pick up the tempo? Hop squats are next. Can be done in a few different ways, but this is the one I'm picking, or this style is what I'm picking for this program. Make sure your core is braced and held tight all through the exercise as you perform it. Perform a squat, and as you come to the top, do a quick hop and back down to a full squat. Maintain a steady pace as you're going through this exercise, and also make sure that you've got your core completely braced and in place. You will notice over time as you do these exercises, you will be able to do the same exercise much faster. By now you'll start feeling the 15 second breaks are not enough. Make sure you're hydrating yourself during these breaks. Fourth exercise in group A, isometric squat band pull apart. 
So with the band looped around just above your knee, you take a squat position and you hold that squat position all the way for the 45 seconds. While in this position, grab hold of another band, hold it at face level with straight arms and pull it apart with your arms remaining straight. This is a great exercise for your posture as well as the rear shoulders. You will also find it challenging because your thighs will start burning and shivering after a while. It's, it's, it's a very good isometric strength builder for the legs as well. Keep your core braced all along. And the last exercise in group A is lateral shuffle half burpee. So you got a bit of a lateral movement happening as you see and a burpee at the end of each direction. So do four steps of lateral shuffle, perform half a burpee and go back on the other side with the lateral shuffle and a half burpee. All the way through, keep your core completely tight and pace yourself because you start going too fast and you'll start running out of breath. You've probably been looking forward to this 15 second break. Grab some water, take that rest, go back and do two more rounds, and then you get a 90 second break before group B. Keep it going, you can do it. Welcome Three, to group B. Two, the first exercise is one. floor chest press. Loop the band around your chest, either underneath your armpit or around your shoulders. And lie down with your legs bent or kept straight, depending on your preference. Push the band away from you while keeping the elbows at about 45 degree angle to your body. This version here, as you see, is around the shoulders. Um, just needs a little bit of getting used to and once you're comfortable with either one of them, just make sure you control the movement and again, three seconds per rep, you should be able to do about 15 reps. If you're doing any more, increase the resistance and slow down the pace. Exercise number two in group B is overhead press. Given these are short bands, I came up with the kneeling version where you kneel down, anchor the band underneath your knees and do a shoulder press. Make sure your core is braced and kept tight and push the band up as high as you can. There's some limitation depending on the length of the band. The pace is again three seconds per rep just like in the other exercises 
and you should get about 15 reps in 45 seconds. And if you're doing any more than that, increase the resistance and, and that'll get you stronger as well. Next one is overhead tricep extension. I did the single hand version here where one hand is providing the anchor at the waist level while the other hand does the extension overhead. You got to make sure that your shoulder to elbow remains as constant as steady as possible doesn't move and it's only your elbow that gets extended out so that it activates the tricep. You could actually do this with both hands in, in the same position as the overhead shoulder press gets a little bit of getting used to but you could do it uh, both hands as well. Same 3 second tempo per rep for 15 reps and keep your core tight. Last two exercises in group B. This is isometric squat band laterals. Take a squat position and hold that position for the entire 45 seconds. While in this position, grab hold of a resistance band, anchor it at your waist level with one hand while using the other hand to do a front lateral and then follow it up with a side lateral and alternate hands. Three seconds per rep should be the tempo again and all the way through brace your core and keep it tight. You will find it challenging to be in that isometric squat position. If you do need to take a quick one second, two second break, do that, but hold it as long as you can. You will benefit with really strong legs at the end of it. And we'll finish it all off with mountain climbers, which is the fifth and final exercise in group B. Get into a plank position with extended arms. Make sure your wrist is right below your shoulders for the right position. Keep your back straight. Keep your hips as low as you can. Your knees will be pretty close to the ground and do a mountain climber at a controlled pace. Make sure your your core is again kept tight and you're holding that position that will benefit in strengthening your stomach and flattening that stomach. With that, it would be a wrap once you've finished three rounds of this victory. I hope you enjoyed the workout. The next one I'm going to have would be another metabolic conditioning. I'll have the links at the end of the video or in the description below. The entire exercise will be there in the description below as well. I'll also come up with a strength training routine. So you'll have a combination of three different routines that you can shuffle with and keep your body engaged in what you're doing. With that, I'm signing out. Stay fit.